Hi guys, welcome back to Riddler Gaming. Today we've got a bit of an exclusive on The Way of Yuji by Andre Eichenberg. This is a kind of um, very beautiful Japanese styled platformer slash stealth game. Well, it's not really a stealth game, it's got stealth elements. Um, it's going to be brought out on the iOS, but I've managed to get my hands on a very early alpha version of the, well, kind of on the PC to give you guys a look. Um, it includes the first two chapters, so I'm going to jump straight into it and we're going to crack on and have a look at the way of Yuji. So you can automatically see the kind of like pixel art and stuff like that. It's very blocky, but it fits in very nicely with the theme. Uh, it's all about light and dark. It's meant to be a very contemplative game. It's meant to make you think about the world and everything. So everything's not right with the world, basically. It's a battle between light and dark. And you're trying to find your lover, uh, who has been taken from you by the dark, or something like that. And here we are, we play this like white block. I'm not exactly sure what we are. Um, it's not fully explained, but we're in Emerald Village. Uh, lots of people around. You can press Z to interact with objects and things. So... We don't understand this at the moment, but we've got to go and have tea with the monk. So let's have tea with the monk. The sounds are very important in this game. I think they add to the atmosphere in quite a large way. Uh, you have a long journey to find your beloved. Yep, we do. We, the guides, will assist you in the mission. Probably there are going to be seven guides in the mission, uh, with seven chapters each, which is quite cool. Okay, be careful with the dark matter as it's spreading. The light is your friend, it counts and protects you from the dark matter. To sculpt the time, this is the secret. We'll give you three particles, love, happiness and hope, be brave, good luck. The times they are changing. So you get these three particles which now hover above your head. Um, they're basically your health for the game. You can take three hits before you go down and get walked back to the last checkpoint. Do you like cats? Find the garden of yours and alone on an island. So yeah, just to reiterate, this is a very early version. Things may change drastically from what I'm showing you at the moment. Uh, this is 1.1. The bells are kind of um, checkpoints. So if you die, you'll walk back there. This peacock here is going to spread its feathers for us. Thank you for that, Mr. Peacock. And you can chat to most of these people. Give kind of animals, they love it. Um, it's very interactive, which I like. And it adds to the atmosphere. So we're going to move forward. We can, we can now understand what these things say. A flower unknown to bird and butterfly the sky of autumn. Lovely. Is that a haiku? Might be a haiku. Again, Japanese theme. Lovely. It's very pretty. I really do like it quite a lot. It also likes to play about with kind of the zooming in, zooming out of the screen. So it'll zoom in towards your character when it's talking to people and out when you come to like a, a large area. Um, which he wants to kind of like make you see the outlying environment. So this thing has three three dots on it as well. Can we talk to it? Oh, we have to jump way to the valley village on it. So we've got a hot air balloon here, which we're going to jump in. And off we go. The sounds get slightly darker and darker as you go up. But the colours are very, very vibrant, and they remind me of kind of spring with the cherry blossoms and uh, yeah, just the general freshness of the appearance of the game. One of the things I like about the game is the fact that tutorials aren't invasive; they're not in the way of you. They're kind of done very slyly, um, so you can play along without having to stop and press through buttons whilst it explains to you what's going on. I think that's pretty important. So there we go, we've taken the uh, the hot air balloon up this cliff. Let's talk to this thing. The shadows are dangerous, the turtles know it. <laughs> I'm glad the turtles know it. So here we have the obstacle of the game. There are these dark shadows. So if I jump into that, I lose a point of health you can see above my head. I now only have two dots, and one is kind of like whited out, showing that I've taken some damage. We've got to wait for the shadows to kind of disappear before we can kind of go through it. There we go. 
going to make a quick dash through all the uh, the shadows to the next side. We we'll ring another bell. Our heroes. Oh, it's a grave. That's sad. You got to be quite careful because the hitbox is a little large at certain points, so you you might hit the shadow where you think you don't. And as you can see, our perspective kind of zooms out a lot. There you are. So you can see that we're on a nice panoramic bridge. So one of the gripes I have about it is at certain points I feel it goes too far out. For example here, I find it quite hard to see myself and make sure that I'm not like kind of moving too sharply towards the, uh, the beams of dark light. It's quite difficult to see where I am. Hopefully you guys can kind of pick out where I am, but... Yeah, and it's gone even further out. This is right. really difficult. I guess that's part of the difficulty of the game, actually. Um, maybe it's just adding a new difficulty level. Which might make sense, but I find it, I find it quite difficult to make sure that I don't run into a beam. So I'm edging my way ever close to the end of this bridge. Across some kind of chasm. We've got one massive thick beam in our way, and we've made it. There we go, and it zoomed back into us. He has a special gift for us. That's great. Can we get it? No. Oh, did he just go huge? That guy's just turned massive. No, oh, I feel like I've gone too quickly and I want that gift. I think it might be like health. Never mind. I've gone past it too quickly, it's my own fault. Meditate in the altar to receive one energy. So let's meditate here. <laughs> I do love the sound. And like all the animals kind of throughout the game, some deer there, there was cats around, there's some rabbits and things. So we're on to chapter two, the forest. And the forest gets a lot darker. It's quite light at the moment. Everything's fine and well in the forest. Owls, smooth autumn breezes, and white mushrooms. Hmm. Ah, there we are. If you look in the top left, you can see our kind of moods, I think it is. Like, so we're nervous for some reason, and heat. Com we're confident now. We're confident. It's fine. Passionate. So yeah, there are moods, and they kind of change as the game goes on. And they change depending on how much damage we've taken as well. So here are the dark beams back again. I'm going to quickly drop down. Try to run into them. Here we go. Ah, nuts. Taking some damage. Taking some hits. I just love the atmosphere. And the soundtrack is incredibly good. I'm very interested to, you know, learn more about the release of this one. I feel very fortunate to be able to give them the chance to look at it. So now we've got a light beam, which means that it kind of gets in the way of the dark beam. So when a light beam goes over the dark beam, we can pass through it. Although, I think we're completely blocked off on this occasion. I think we have to move, move on. So we need to get a key and the blackbird, I swear. <laughs> so here we have a good example of this. This light beam's coming through the patch of dark matter, of dark light, and we have to move with it. I guess this is the kind of stealth aspect almost. I'm trying to sneak through, sneak through the dark <laughs> and avoid being spotted by the dark light. Ah. Damn it. Okay, time for tea. I'm going to continue. There doesn't seem to be any penalty for dying at the moment. Um, you tend to just go back to the checkpoint. Maybe that'll be changed in a later release. And that one moves really quickly. Go, go. Oh, come on. Go. Yes, made it. Right, so there's some blackbirds. Here's another mechanic so we can swing. It becomes a bit more platformery time this right, otherwise we fall into the abyss. Oh, just... Right, so can we jump on this? 
Yeah, we can. Cool. Well, some kind of light bridge. Down we go. Oh, see, I, I can't see down, so I don't, <laughs> don't know where we're going. Oh, dear. Apparently, it was uh, straight into some dark darkness. Oh, that one always catches me out. Oh, come on, I made that. Yes. I want to find out what's down here. I'm intrigued. There's a lot of mystery to this game. Which is really enjoyable, I think. Because I want to find out what exactly, you know, who exactly our lover is that we're searching for. And what exactly we are. And the Guardians and what, what it's all about, really. And I've just jumped straight off into that. <laughs> Oh god. Also, what the blackbird's hiding. Blackbirds are always up to something. Come on. Yes. Damn it. I got it on the wrong way, so just gotta wait a little bit. We are sad and confident. <laughs> Now cold and fear. It's a bit weird how that changes quite a lot. We're tired and calm, now heat and calm. Fear and calm. I'm not sure fear and calm really go together. I'm terrified, but I'm fine. Oh, come on, game. Why do you hate me so? I think I'm going to leave it there um, at the impossible part of the uh, the game. It's not really impossible, it's just I'm having trouble with it. Um, I hate to leave on such a fail, but I think I've given you guys a pretty good look at this game. There's no release date as of yet. Um, it's scheduled just for the iOS system. That might change. Um, I have really don't know, to be honest with you. But yeah. It's coming soon, and it's very, very worthwhile to have a look at this one. I'll put a link to the kind of the forums that the the developer's been uh, posting on, so you guys can have a look at some of the other level designs and things like that. But yeah, thanks for watching this, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe for more indie previews that'll be coming soon, uh, and I'll see you later. Cheers, guys. Bye.